Friday, October 13th. I'm the fabulous and most awesomest DeJoy Money Hamilton. And I'm Haley. <laughs> Today is crazy blue and white day and Friday the 13th, but we're going to have a great day anyway. Senior ads are now on sale. Orders must be placed by October 31st. See Miss Springer in room 536 or their Darter webpage for more details. Girls' soccer tryouts begin Tuesday, October 17th at the Fields of Fame. You must have a physical turned in to the trainers before you try out. Cleats and shin guards are encouraged. Tryouts will start at 245 and end at 5. If you have any questions, please see Coach Matthews, Coach Brian, or Coach Rhodes. Justin... Jostens will be back on campus <laughs> on Friday, 1020, our fi for final cap and gown orders during all lunch shifts, or students may order online at jostens.com. Homecoming, homecoming <laughs> ticket sale, homecoming, homecoming ticket sales, and today tickets will not be sold after this. So if you don't have your tickets, get it today. They are seventy-five dollars. Remember, if the very last, it's the very last day to buy homecoming tickets. The dance today is the last day. <laughs> <laughs> the Apopka High School Darter Chorus was chosen once again to sing in Disney's Candlelight Processional at Epcot. Our students not only get to sing, but have the privilege of being an honor choir. Whoa. All Row Kappa members, please stop by Mr. Mellon's room or email Mr. Mellon so that you can be given important information. Mr. Mellon is a peasant, but we put up with him. <laughs> <laughs> Seniors, FAFSA help is being offered at the Parent Academy in, at Windermere High School tomorrow from 9 to 1. FAFSA help is also offered on Monday at Valencia College Fall Campus from 9 to 6. Next week's the application week. Don't forget the game tonight and don't forget about our homecoming king and queen crowning at the halftime show. Have a great and wonderful blue, crazy blue white day. Don't forget the parade and pep rally later today. Woo! Oh my gosh, go pop <laughs> Good morning, Blue Darters. Welcome to Day 42 at Apopka High School, where it's great to be a Blue Darter. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. All together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. I have a couple quick announcements, and then I'm going to turn it over to our anchors. All right. Hold on, put on my daughter's hat here. Okay, um, Powder Puff, want to say huge congratulations to all of our athletes and cheerleaders, and I say that word lightly, um, but congratulations to our athletes, and for some reason, the, the seniors pulled it out at the end. Um, so congratulations to our seniors and everyone is, who is involved. Thank you to SGA and to uh, Mr. Peters and Mr. Mellon for their leadership of SGA. Also, students versus staff basketball game last night. Thank you to our AVID, our AVID um, program, and to Miss Richard for organize and Miss Brennan for organizing the students versus faculty basketball game and um, went outstanding. The students pulled it out in the end. It was a close 81 to 80 game. Um, there was a per perception of maybe some AARP favoritism. I'm not, I'm not confirming that is true, but I am acknowledging that that was a perception that was in the building. So, okay, I'm going to turn it over to our anchors today. Take it away. Come on. Teleprompter was never Teleprompter. turned on. Hi, Apopka. Good morning. It's, Queen Kenzie and King Marshall. And it's October 12th. All right, guys. How are you doing Ooh, today? You guys are great. <laughs> All right. Today is Tacky Tourist or Royalty Day. There are tourists and peasants over there. We will not be seen with them. 
Senior ads are now on sale. Orders must be placed by October 31st. See Ms. Springer in room 536 or the Darter webpage for more details. Girls soccer tryouts will begin Tuesday, October 17th at the Fields of Fame. You must have a physical turned in to the trainers before you try out. Cleats and shin guards are encouraged. Tryouts will start at 2.45 and end at 5. If you have any questions, please see Coach Matthews, Coach Perrine, or Coach Rhodes. Boys soccer will be having a sign in the informational table during B lunch today. Tryouts start October 23rd, and all players must have their physicals and paperwork ready then. Joe Steens will be back on campus on Friday, 1020, for final cap and gown orders during all lunch shifts, or students may order online at joesteens.com. Homecoming ticket sales end tomorrow. Tickets will not be sold after this. So if you have yours, you got to get it. If you don't, they will not be on sale past this week. They are $75. Remember, tomorrow is the very last day to buy homecoming dance tickets. If you don't buy a ticket, it will be off with your head. That's it. Congratulations to the seniors for winning the Powder Puff game. 19 to 12. Outstanding players, according to Hooverus, were junior Di Di Payne and seniors Allie Haig, <laughs> Aunt McFarley, and Gracie Darlington. And that's um, Day Day, sorry. My bad. The Apopka FFA team completed in the District 7 Force Feet Contest. The team included Gabby Colin, Annie Musenberg, Laurie Butcherman, and Kendall Lindsay. They take care of the Royal Gardens, too. <laughs> so sorry if I... All Row Kappa members, please stop by Mr. Mellon's room or email Mr. Mellon so that you can be given important information. Mr. Mellon is a peasant, but we put up with him. He is the lead jester of our court. Lead peasant. <laughs> and according to royalty, your king and queen, you must move your car directly after school. The royal band will be practicing, and if you don't move your car, well, off with your head. So, Seniors. FAFSA help is being offered at the Parent Academy at Windermere High on Saturday from 9 to 1. FAFSA help is also offered on Monday at Valencia College, fall campus from 9 to 6. Next week is college application week. And that is all from the court today. Remember, bow down to your royalty, and that's all seniors. And remember, to the rest of the peasants, if you cause any problems, we will cut your head off and stick it on a spike on top of the stadium and just laugh at you. Bow down to the kings and queens of the senior class, or we will cut off your heads. Goodbye, Apopka. Hi. <laughs> 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 There is a, there's a beta meeting today directly after school in the cafeteria. New and old members must attend. E.T. Fun home. Girls' soccer trials begin Tuesday, October 17th at the Fields of Fame. You must have a physical turn-in to the trainers before you try out. Cleats and shin guards are encouraged. Tryout will be at 2.45 and end at 5. If you have any questions, please see Coach Matthews, Coach Perrine, or Coach Rhodes. New NEHS members, if you are not certain of your acceptance into NEHS, please go to the NEHS Google Classroom to check the list of 2017-2018 members. Our first meeting will be Thursday, October 12th in room 503. At this time, we will discuss officer elections and future club meeting dates. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Hoovers or Mrs. Gardner and ask them to please open the pod bay doors, Hal. Boys soccer will have a sign-in and informational table during A and B lunch periods Thursday tryouts start October 23rd, and all the players must have their physicals paperwork processed. And that's it for today. Don't forget to dress up for sports day tomorrow, and don't forget the powder puff game tomorrow. Have a movie-filled day, Apopka. And to infinity and beyond, hasta la vista, baby. I'll be back tomorrow. So long, farewell, la vida, say goodbye. Goodbye, Apopka. Goodbye. See you later. Good morning, Apopka. 
Today is Tuesday, October 10th. I'm Isabel. And I'm Katie, and this is Sports Day. The Spanish Club is meeting today at 2 in room 656. And please congratulate Christopher Hamilton on making it to congressional semifinals at the debate tournament last weekend. Congratulations to Brody and Tatiana Beecham for placing first place in duo interpretation. There is an upcoming National Honor Society meeting after school on Thursday at 2. The student versus staff basketball game is hosted by the AVID 2 class. This event is a fundraiser to help hurricane relief efforts around the country and in Puerto Rico. The game will take place tomorrow at 6 p.m. in the gym. Tickets will be $3 and will be sold at the door. Come out and show your support. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Richards in room 420. Senior ads are now on sale. Orders must be placed by October 31st. See Ms. Springer in room 536 or the Darter webpage for more details. Anyone interested in trying out for boys basketball should attend the meeting tomorrow after school in the gym. Remember, tomorrow's a regular school day and this meeting we will discuss physicals, open gym and conditioning opportunities, everything else you need to know to try out for the team in November. Senior tailgate has been postponed until the first playoff game. Girls soccer tryouts begin Tuesday, October 17th at the Field of Fames. You must have a physical turned in to the trainers before you try out. Cleats and shin guards are encouraged. Tryouts will start at 2.45 and end at 5. If you have any questions, please see Coach Matthews, Coach Perrine, or Coach Rhodes. New NEHS members, if you are not certain if of your acceptance into NEHS, please go to the NEHS Google Classroom to check the list of 2017-2018 members. Our first meeting will be Thursday, October 12th in room 503. At this time, we will discuss officer elections and future club meetings. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Hooveris or Ms. Gardner and ask them to open the pod bay doors hall. Boys soccer will be having a sign-in and informational table during A and B lunch periods Thursday. Tryouts start October 23rd, and all players must have their physicals and paperwork processed. And that's it for today. Don't forget to dress for sports day tomorrow. <laughs> forget the powder puff game tonight. Have a movie-filled day of popka.
Bro, that game was funny, bro. Like, we got a team full of shooters, yeah. Everybody dropped out at least like 30 points. I ain't even getting the game. Bro, hey man, look, we won, you know that, right? Cause, you know, I'm like, I'm like uh, Ray Allen out there. But my name Travis Allen, I'm a bucket. Yeah, we won by like, I don't know, 25. You know, I'm a three-point shooter, especially. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Good morning, daughters. Y'all already know what time it is. I got two amazing players behind me, and the coach, you already know. Me and her, I'm the assistant coach, she the coach. Hey, y'all already know what time it is, but they got something to say to y'all. They got something to say to y'all. Well, the game today was fun, very fun. Um. You know, my dog Cassie hit my 12 threes. Very, very competitive. Uh, you know, I did my thing. I did a little something, something. And, you know, Day Day came in, came in clutch with a, a few assists and driving to the basket. And, you know, we, we just did our thing, you know? It's a Deja Payne. She played outstanding defense, getting buckets and everything. Cassie, oh my goodness, Cassie, she was on fire. She was on fire. Hello, folks. We're here with Coach P and Coach Brittany. How do you guys feel about the game tonight? I just feel terrible. I think that, um, they cheated. Referee that is our maybe is affiliated with the school right. and maybe rigged it a little bit for the kids. Dub 8180, you know, it just is what it is.
morning, Apopka. Today is Wednesday, October 18th. I'm Haley. And I'm Nucci, and this is the DNN. Senior ads are now on sale. Orders must be placed by October 31st. See Mrs. Springer in room 536 or the Darter webpage for more details. Girls' soccer tryouts begin today at the Fields of Fame. You must have a physical turned in to the trainers before you try out. Cleats and shin guards are encouraged. Tryouts will start at 2.45 and end at 5. If you have any questions, please see Coach Matthews, Coach P, or Coach Rhodes. One year so you can hear. Huh? One year so you can hear. Oh. Hey, there's a fire. Come on. Hey, can you hear me? Come on, there's a fire. Hey man, when are so you can hear? A Popka Boys soccer tryouts will begin next Monday, October 23rd from 5.30 to 7.30 at the Wells Street Fields across from the 9th grade center at Players must have a completed physical package approved by the athletic training staff and 2.0 overall GPA to participate. Justin's will be back on campus this Friday, 1020, for final cap and gown orders during all lunch shifts, or students may order online at justins.com. NEHS is the National English Honor Society. It's a club for sophomores through seniors who are strong English students. And we have a literary magazine, we do an open mic night, the students volunteer at elementary schools and read to the younger students. And we try to just have as much fun as possible doing English oriented things. Due to the last minute high demand, homecoming dance tickets will be on sale all week during lunch shifts. Get yours now. And congratulations to the DNN's own Jessica Spiegel and Apopka's Jelani Shaw for receiving the honor of homecoming queen and king for 2017. Come to our district volleyball games at Wakaiva. We, we played Boone and Lake Nona. God, I don't know what they <laughs> Hi, I'm Sue Beecham. Um, I teach senior English, and I also teach a dual enrollment Valencia uh, English, which has um, uh, both juniors and seniors in it, and they get two college courses I've taken off as well as two high school credits. Um, I've been teaching at Apopka High School uh, since Dirt was a young child. I know it's over 30 years, I'm not sure how long. Um, I started teaching English because none of my children's friends liked to read and so I thought I needed to be the solution to the problem and so I went back and got another master's degree. Um, probably one of the most exciting times um, that I've been here was our very first state football championship and we were playing up in Tallahassee, we were playing one of those great big schools from Miami and the fog rolled into that stadium and we couldn't even see what the players were doing, but we won and um, it was quite a night. I am Miss Brennan and I currently teach AVID and Darter Success for ninth graders. I've been teaching with Orange County Public Schools for 12 years, but this is my first year at Apopka High School. I previously worked in public relations at Universal Studios and it was fun, it was an adventure, but it had no heart. I loved becoming a teacher because it was a job with a heart. I love coming to school with the idea that I might be able to make a difference every day. I've had lots of memorable moments as a teacher, but I think one of the most special moments was when I received a call from a former student and he asked me to show up uh, at 7 o'clock in the morning to Wakaiba High School and I, he wouldn't tell me why and when I showed up it was uh, his contract signing and he wanted me to see that he got the full paid scholarship to go off to college and he wanted me there for that moment and that really really meant a lot to me as a teacher um, to know that I was part of his full journey um, to go on to college so that was very memorable for me. 
Uh, so what I love most about teaching are my students. I absolutely positively adore my students. Uh, this year, there isn't a single child I don't like. I love every single one of them. I've got the best kids at a pop high school. I'm a lucky teacher. Today's, <laughs> that's all for today. <laughs> See you tomorrow on the DNN. Bye. Goodbye, Popka. Ah. Popka. Today is Thursday, October 19th. I'm Kenzie. And I'm Jackson, and this is the DNN. Senior Senior ads are now on sale. <laughs> Orders must be placed by October 31st. See Miss Springer in room 536 or the Darter webpage for more details. Girls soccer tryouts have started and will continue until today at the Fields of Fame. You must have a physical turned into the trainers before you try out. Cleese and shin guards are encouraged. To tryouts will start at 2.45 and end at 5. If you have any questions, please see Coach Matthews, Coach P, or Coach Rhodes. Apopka Boys soccer tryouts will begin next Monday, October 23rd from 5.30 to 7.30 at the Wells Street Fields across from the 9th grade center. All players must have a completed physical package approved by the athletic training staff and a 2.0 overall GPA to participate. Just a friendly reminder that you cannot take pictures or video of the students on the playground. If you want to do so for photography or the yearbook or something, you need to go to room 417 and talk to Ms. Silver. Justin's will be back on campus tomorrow for final cap and gown orders during all lunch shifts. Or students may order online at justins.com. Due to last minute high demand, homecoming dance tickets will be on sale all week during lunch shifts. Get yours now. Go to homecoming, guys. don't understand why we have to be here on our day off. We're filming the promo, dear. Promo shmomo. What is it? She lost her contact again. Oh, don't fan on. Don't I just don't understand. Oh, hold the poor sweet. All right, so today we are filming our promo. Please remember that this is on camera. Please do not overact. So, from your entrance, please, Dottie and Gary. <laughs> Is that a deal? <laughs> Do you want to laugh? Would you like to see a great piece of theatre? That comes see nothing on by a... A playwright whose name I cannot remember. A uh, playwright are really important anymore nowadays. Shh. Come to the auditorium, October 19th through 21st. Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 7 p.m. and Saturday at 2. Say your line, please. Your line, please. Give her the line. Tickets are $7, five from a cast member. You can't be on camera. Tim. Do something? Never mind, Tim. Next week is Red Ribbon Week. Monday is Team Ag Against Drugs. Work as a team to stop drugs. Wear your favorite shirt or jersey Tuesday. Don't get tied up in drugs. Wear your favorite tie dye shirts. And Wednesday is Red Day. Wear red. Support against the fight against drugs. 
Go the boys that. and girls cross country teams competed in the Metro West Championship, and Woo. both teams placed fourth. Top performers were Ariana Jimenez, Woo. Sydney Fowler, Woo. Jesse Burrell, Rudy Gatling, and Woo. Javon Clark. Woo. Congrats, guys. This is a reminder to all boys interested in playing basketball. Our open gym and conditioning begins today after school. Remember, in order to participate, you must be cleared by our athletic trainers by turning in a completed physical packet. And you must be academically eligible with a GPA of 2.0. Goodbye, Apopka. Goodbye, Apopka. Good morning, Apopka. Today is Friday, October 20th. I'm the fabulous, most wonderful as Jory Mani Hamilton. And I'm Kadesha, and this is the DNN. Senior ads are now on sale. Orders must be placed by October 31st. See Ms. Springer in room 536 or the Darter webpage for more details. Apopka Boys Soccer Trials will begin Monday, October 23rd from 5.30 to 7.30 at the Wells Street Fields across from the 9th grade center. All players must have a completed physical package approved by the athletic training staff and a 2.0 overall GPA to participate. Dawson's will be back on campus today for final cap and gown orders during all lunch shifts, or students may order online at jawsons.com. This is your last chance to get homecoming dance tickets. It's now or never today. Don't, don't miss it. You don't want to miss homecoming. Next week is Red, Red Ribbon Week. <laughs> Monday is team up against drugs. Work as a team to stop drugs. Wear your favorite shirt or jersey tuesday is don't get tied up in drugs wear your favorite tie dye shirt and wednesday is red day wear red and support the fight against drugs all right my name is miss kish i teach 2d art um i've been just teaching at apopka this year but this is my second year teaching my main reason for becoming a teacher is because i love seeing what students create. Um, I love teaching art and it kind of mixes my love for art with my love for teaching and puts both of them together. So my favorite thing about teaching, like I said before, is kind of seeing what kids create and being consistently surprised by all the things my students do every day. And my least favorite thing is how early I have to get up in the morning to drive here. My most memorable moment in teaching last year was I had set up a competition, an art competition, and had other students vote, like all their classmates voted. And the three students who won, when I told them that they had won and that their classmates had chosen them, they were so excited and so happy and so proud of themselves. So that made me feel really good. That was my favorite moment. My favorite quote or saying is that mistakes are proof you're trying. This is a reminder to all boys interested in playing basketball. Our open gym and conditioning began yesterday after school. Remember, in order to participate, you must be cleared by our athletic trainers by turning in a completed physical package, and you must be academically eligible with a cumulative GPA of a 2.0. But I don't understand why we have to be here on our day off. We're filming the promo, dear. Promo shmomo. <sighs> She lost her contact again. Oh, don't fan on me. I just but... don't have the... Oh, hold the poor sweet. All right, so today we are filming our promo. Please remember that this is on camera. Please do not overact. 
So from your entrance, please, Dotty and Gary. <laughs> Do you want to laugh? Would you like to see a great piece of theatre? That come see nothing on by a... A playwright whose name I cannot remember. Oh, playwrights are really important anymore nowadays. Come to the auditorium, October 19th through 21st. Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 7 p.m. and Saturday at 2. Say your line, please. Your line, please. Give her the line. Tickets are seven dollars, five from a cast member. You can't be on camera. Tim, do something. Never mind, Tim. The Media Center will be closed on Tuesdays and Thursdays for tutoring. If you're not signed up for tutoring, you are not allowed to stay on those days. Remember that no food is allowed in the Media Center at any time. Students caught with food will not be allowed back in the Media Center for the remainder of the day. Find another place to eat. And that's all for today. Have a great weekend. Get your tickets for the dance and get prepared to support the Blue Darters next Friday. Nice. Ooh, it's a really big game next week. Holy crappers. Bye, Popka. Bye. Good morning, Apopka. Today is Monday, October 23rd. I'm James. And I'm Jessica, and this is the DNN. Senior ads are now on sale. Orders must be placed by October 31st. See Ms. Springer in room 536 or the Darter webpage for more details. Apopka Boys Soccer Tryouts will begin today, October 23rd, from 530 to 730 at the Well Street Fields across from the 9th grade center. All players must have a completed physical package approved by the athletic training staff and a 2.0 overall GPA to participate. Remember, this <coughs> week is Red Ribbon Week. Tomorrow is Don't Get Tied Up in Drugs, wear your favorite tie-dye shirts, and Wednesday is Red Day, wear red and support the fight against drugs. This is a reminder to all boys interested in playing basketball. Our open gyms and conditioning is after school. Remember, in order to participate, you must be cleared by our athletic trainers by turning in a completed physical packet, and you must be academically eligible with a cumulative GPA of 2.0. The Media Center will be closed on Tuesdays and Thursdays for tutoring. If you're not signed up for tutoring, you are not allowed to stay on those days. <clears throat> Remember that there is no food allowed in the media center at any time. Students caught with food will not be allowed back into the media center for the remainder of the day. Find another place to eat. Don't go hungry, though. Yeah. Remember, the big game of the week is Friday night. We need a big crowd to be there to defeat Walmart High School, also known as Wakaiva. Make plans now. See you tomorrow, Popka. Good morning, Blue Darters. Good to see everybody today on this Monday. Hope you had a great weekend. So we are here with our weekly message of grit. What is grit? Grit means that it takes hard work to achieve. Somebody is not born with 
a ton of talent to make them successful for their future. They're not born smart, but it takes hard work. And you're going to get knocked down, but get back up and keep trying hard. Um, my story of grit here is um, Albert Einstein, who has been considered as a genius by the masses. Um, he was a theoretical physicist, philosopher, author, and is perhaps the most influential scientist to ever live. I want to give you a few quotes by Albert Einstein. I have no special talent. I am only passionately curious. Here's another one. It's not that I am so smart. It's just that I stay with problems longer. I think and think for months and years, 99 times the conclusion is false. The hundredth time, I am right. A person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. Now, interesting fact about Albert Einstein, he had some special needs. And um, in his formative years, a teacher actually told him he would never amount to anything. And obviously, Albert Einstein has persevered and showed a great deal of grit throughout his life and is now considered one of the most intelligent, most intelligent scientists of all time. So we have uh, one of our students here, JC. How's it going? Good. Good. How are you? Good. Thanks for coming on the air with me today. So congratulations. Um, why do I have you here today? What is your accomplishment? Um, I got a perfect score on the math SAT, 1520 overall. Whoa, so. give it up. Woohoo! Yeah. All right, way to go, JC. What did you do to prepare for the SAT? Uh, to prepare for the SAT, you take practice SATs, and then you, uh, when you get questions wrong, because you definitely do get questions wrong at first, you look at the mistakes, you look at what you did wrong, and then you spend a lot of time with, him, with the mistakes, kind of like Albert Einstein said in that quote. You, like, you don't just like look, through, look at the mistake and then rush past it. You look at it, you spend a little bit of time with it so you don't make that mistake again, so you really learn from it. So that's how, what I did uh, for the reading mainly, for the reading, but I didn't get a perfect score on the reading, so. All right, well, thanks for giving us a reading example. Have you always been smart or did you have to work hard to achieve that goal? Um, yeah, you have to work hard. It's not just natural talent. Um, yeah, I just All right, good hard. answer. <laughs> You're doing great. Okay. What extracurricular activities are you involved in? Uh, I'm the president of Spanish Honor Society. I play basketball. I, um, I'm in National Honor Society and Science National Honor Society. And yeah, I think that's it. Think okay. So. Does that involvement in those sports and clubs, does that involvement serve as a motivator to, to help you do better academically? Mm, no, not at all. Actually, the only thing that motivates me is just I'm just self-motivated, just like uh, ambitious to go do things. Nothing outside of, like that motivates me. Just, I just go after things, you know. Self-motivated. Now that you have accomplished this on the SAT, what, what, what are your future plans? Well, for the short term, I want to get a perfect score on both of them. So I, I will get a perfect score on both of them. Once, and I'll get a 1600, which, you know, right now I have 1520. I want to bring it up. And after that, mm, I'm probably going to go to college, most likely. Um, and I don't really know past that, so I'm undecided. But. All right, way to go. Give it up for JC. All right, he can hear you around the campus, so thank you. And he's in class right now somewhere on this Monday morning, so um, his classmates can give him a high five. Okay, Apopka, have a great Monday. Good to see you today. Have a great week. Go Blue Darters. Morning, Big Blue Darters. Today is Tuesday, October 24th. I'm Justin Amatucci. And I'm Allie Haig, and this is the DNN. Sorry about the broadcasting problem with Monday's DNN. We got the problem fixed, or else you wouldn't be seeing this. 
Senior ads are now on sale. Orders must be placed by October 31st. See Ms. Springer in room 536 or the Darter webpage for more details. A Popker Boys Soccer, a.k.a. the Ball Kickers, tryouts began yesterday, October 23rd from 530 to 730. Love the support out there, guys. At the Wells Street Fields across from the 9th grade center. All players must have a completed physical package approved by the athletic training staff and a 2.0 overall GPA to participate. Remember, this week is Red Ribbon Week. Wednesday is Red Day. Wear red and support the fight against drugs. This is a reminder for all boys interested in playing basketball. Our open gym and conditioning is after school. Remember, order to participate. in order to participate, you must be cleared by our athletic trainers by turning in a completed physical packet, and you must be academically eligible with a cum cumulative GPA of 2.0. The Media Center will be closed on Tuesdays and Thursdays for tutoring. If you are not signed up for tutoring, you are not allowed to stay on those days. Remember that no food is allowed in the Media Center at any time. Students caught with food will be banished from the Media Center for the remainder of the day. Find another place to eat, please. Underclass picture retakes will be next Monday, October 30th. Order forms were sent home with students or you can download order forms on the front page of the school's website, darter.ocps.net. There will be a girls basketball meeting Thursday, October 27th in the gym right after school. Girls basketball tryouts are Monday, October 30th and Tuesday, October 31st from 5 to 8. You must have a physical that is cleared from Mogul, Kaiser, or Nugent, Win. If you have any questions, see Coach Hardy or Miss Richard in room 420 or Miss Wilson in room 430. The AHS PTSA is hosting a spirit night at Chick-fil-A on Wednesday between 5 and 8. The second period class with the most attending will get a coupon for a free breakfast item. Congratulations to the robotics team 550C who won the excellence award as the best overall robot of the event on Saturday. That was Chris Pappas, Aaron Hale, Dylan Dana, and Max Anderson. We Today is Friday, October 13th. I'm the fabulous and most awesome Mr. Jory Money Hamilton. And I'm Haley. <laughs> Today is crazy blue and white day and Friday the 13th, but we're going to have a great day anyway. Senior ads are now on sale. Orders must be placed by October 31st. See Ms. Springer in room 536 or their Darter webpage for more details. Girls soccer tryouts begin Tuesday, October 17th. Today is Friday, October 13th. I'm the fabulous and most awesome Mr. Jory Money Hamilton. And I'm Haley. <laughs> Today is crazy blue and white day and Friday the 13th, but we're going to have a great day anyway. Senior ads are now on sale. Orders must be placed by October 31st. See Ms. Springer in room 536 or their Darter webpage for more details. Girls soccer tryouts begin Tuesday, October 17th at the... Today is Friday, October 13th. I'm the fabulous and most awesome Mr. Jory Money Hamilton. And I'm Haley. <laughs> Today is crazy blue and white day and Friday the 13th, but we're going to have a great day anyway. Senior ads are now on sale. Orders must be placed by October 31st. See Ms. Springer in room 536 or their Darter webpage for more details. Girls soccer tryouts begin Tuesday, October 17th at the Fields of Fame. You must have a physical turned in to the trainers before you try out. Cleats and shin guards are encouraged. Tryouts will start at 2.45 and end at 5. If you have any questions, please see Coach Matthews, Coach Brian, or Coach Rhodes. Justin Jostens will be back on campus <laughs> on Friday, 1020, our fi for final cap and gown orders during all lunch shifts, or students may order online at jostens.com. 
Homecoming, homecoming <laughs> ticket sales. Homecoming, homecoming ticket sales. And today, tickets will not be sold after this. So if you don't have your tickets, get it today. They are seventy five dollars. Remember, if the very last, it's the very last day to buy homecoming tickets. The dance today is the last day. <laughs> <laughs> the Apopka High School Darter Chorus was chosen once again to sing in Disney's Candlelight Processional at Epcot. Our students not only get to sing, but have the privilege of being an honor choir. Whoa. All Road Kappa members, please stop by Mr. Mellon's room or email Mr. Mellon so that you can be given important information. Mr. Mellon is a peasant, but we put up with him. <laughs> <laughs> Seniors, FAFSA help is being offered at the Parent Academy in, at Windermere High School tomorrow from 9 to 1. FAFSA help is also offered on Monday at Valencia College Fall Campus from 9 to 6. Next week's the application week. Don't forget the game tonight and don't forget about our homecoming king and queen crowning at the halftime show. Have a great and wonderful blue, crazy blue white day. Don't forget the parade and pep rally later today. Woo! Oh my gosh, go Papa! <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Blue Darters. Welcome to Day 42 at Apopka High School, where it's great to be a Blue Darter. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. All together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. I have a couple quick announcements, and then I'm going to turn it over to our anchors. All right. Hold on. Put on my daughter's hat here. Okay. Um, Powder Puff. I want to say huge congratulations to all of our athletes and cheerleaders, and I say that word lightly. Um, but congratulations to our uh, athletes and for some reason the the seniors pulled it out at the end um, so congratulations to our seniors and everyone is, who is involved thank you to SGA and to uh, Mr. Peters and Mr. Mellon for their leadership of SGA also students versus staff um, yeah that's it okay. well, I'm gonna get 12 pigeons I'm gonna put a letter on each one I don't know how many letters that would be, <laughs> but then I'm going to put them in a box, and then I'm going to get 12 lizards, and then I'm going to put them together, and I'm going to let them go. And then I'm going to get an airplane that has the clouds after it, and I'm going to put, where you go to homecoming? Do a oh, I'm just going to text her. Seniors, Wednesday is college application day in the CCR. Get started with your application. Registration is available on the Class of 2018 Remind Group. And Kona Ice will be available on tomorrow in the bus loop. Have a great day, Apopka. Apopka. Today is Wednesday, October 4th. I'm Katie. And I'm Val, and this is the DNN. Homecoming dance tickets will be going up to $75 on Monday. This is the last week to get them for $70. The Science National Honor Society is posting the list of new members on the bulletin board outside of room 541. Yeah, bro, I'm so, yeah, pumped, bro. I'm so excited. Bro. I'm so excited. Yeah. I guess that's homecoming. Yes, dude, I'm so bro, pumped. I'm like, Wait, is it the show coming to an end soon? I think they're almost done. Yeah, I think they're almost done. Wait, guys, when's the last day for tickets? Friday, October 13th. What's today? Friday, October 13th. Is it yet? Yeah, no tickets? Wait, how many tickets? One. Buy your tickets today. <laughs> <laughs> 
Spanish Honor Society invites you to celebrate AHS Hispanic Heritage Week. Week Tonight is karaoke night, starting with a special guest speaker from Estrella TV. Thursday, teachers, deserts, and dance at lunchtime, room 211. Friday, show your country pride wearing something from your country. Let's celebrate diversity through Hispanic heritage. Kona Ice will be available today in the bus loop. Seniors, today is college application day in the CCR. Get started with your application registration. Registration is available on the class of 2018 Remind Group. FCA invites you to their meet and greet on Thursday in room 211 during A and B lunch in honor of celebrating National Bring Your Bible to School Day. Join students for inspiration and snack. That's Thursday during A and B lunch, lunch in 211. My name is Spencer Williams. My job is supper lead. I've been with OCPS for 11 years. I started working with OCPS because I love helping younger people. My most memorable moment is one summer I had to deliver food to a homeless shelter. Okay, so my name is Richard Myers and I'm an assistant principal at Apopka High School. So I have currently 14 years of experience in education and the reason I became an administrator is because I love, love, love working with children. And as an administrator, you get to affect a maximum number of children. So I really enjoy that part of it. I think my most memorable moment was when I was uh, uh, appointed as an AP at, uh, at a school. It was actually at, uh, at another school, but it uh, was a segue for me being able to come here. So I really enjoyed that part of it. I think what I like most about being an administrator is just getting to work with staff and students and being able to coach teachers so that uh, they become uh, more well-rounded and better educators and that in turn affects our students uh, in a positive way. Okay, so about my favorite quote. My favorite quote is by Vince Lombardi and that is that leaders aren't born, they are made. And they are made just like anything else and that's through hard work. First year at Apopka High School, but I really like it so far. Uh, my reason for teaching is I really like kids. I like the the fact that I can help some of my students like feel special and feel motivated. Um, I don't know. I, I do it for the kids. It sounds cliche, but that's something that that's what I live by. There was one time I had a kid, and um, he took a candid picture of me. I don't know when was when I was shocked in class and so like at the end of the year he gave me a card and he put my picture there that horrible picture and it says when the cookies were burnt so um yeah I was not happy with that that's a bad picture but I kept the card it's very sweet um, but he was a funny student overall what I like most about teaching is that every day is never the same like my kids Every day something new happens. Every day there is a story. If I were to, if I were able to write a story about my kids, I'd have like five books by now. There are some kids that, you know, always want to give up on themselves and they don't know how, I don't know, they could do so much. So sometimes I have years where there's kids that are not motivated and it's very hard to get them motivated. And that's, I don't like seeing kids like that because every human being, every kid has potential to be so great in life. And that's my story. <laughs> do you need community service hours? Do you love Mother Earth and want to do your part? Join the green team. They will meet Thursday in room 1626 right after school. Have a good day, Apopka.
Good morning, Apopka. Today is Thursday, October 5th. I'm Jackson. And I'm Camille, and this is the DNN. Homecoming dance tickets will be going up to $75 on Monday. This is the last week to get them for $70. Hello, Blue Darters. This is Mr. Peters talking to you about the homecoming dance, which is Saturday, November 11th, from 8 to midnight at the House of Blues. Get your tickets while they can. Yeah, while you can. Uh, $70 this week. They go up to $75 next week. So do not wait. It will be lit. It will be great. It will be the best thing since sliced bread. I, and, 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 of course, one special song that I'm making the vice president play for all you great stores. <laughs> A great time. Be there. Are you ready for the best night of your life? November 11th is our homecoming. Hollywood Walk of Fame. At our homecoming dance, we are going to have 2,000, 2,000 glow sticks for everyone to have at least one. We are going to have nitrogen ice cream, and if you've never seen this before, it's ice cream that smokes. We get it, you vape. Um, <laughs> we're going to have a balloon drop and a confetti drop all at the same time. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be like a rave. Um, we're going to have a fog blast. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have fake paparazzi. So when you walk in, choo, 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 paparazzi. You already know. We're going to have a red carpet. Um, we're going to have chicken tenders and fries. It's going to be great. Great night. Can't wait. I see you there. There is an upcoming National Honor Society meeting after school on October 10th at 2. Spanish Honor Society invites you to celebrate AHS Hispanic Heritage Week. Today, there are teachers, desserts, and dance at lunchtime in room 211. Friday, show your country pride by wearing something from your country. Let's celebrate diversity through Hispanic heritage. Senior ads are now on sale. Orders must be placed by October 31st. See Ms. Springer in room 536 or the Darter webpage for details. There is a mandatory wrestling meeting for all students interested, boys and girls team. Wrestling in Coach Simonelli's room 624 Monday right after school. There is a beta meeting on Monday directly after school in the cafeteria. New and old members. Spirit Week is a fun time jamboree where Popka High School sets aside an entire week to come in costume every day with different themes. Here are the days. Day 1, October 9th, is Movie Day. Come dressed as a pop culture icon, or come dressed as something really obscure that only you understand. Next day, Tuesday, October 10th, is Sports Day, which is pretty self-explanatory. Next, the next day, Wednesday, October 11th, is Rock and Roll Day. Now just to clarify, it's more of like a music day. You can come dressed as anything music related. So take that opportunity to show off your favorite band or artist and make fun of other people's music taste while you're at it. The next day, Thursday, October 12th, is a little bit different. Underclassmen, so that's 9th through 11th, dress as tacky tourists, which I'm sure will not be hard for a lot of you. And then seniors get to dress as kings and queens, royalty. So seniors, this is your last year to participate. Go for it, all right? Don't be a drag, just be a queen or a king. Go for it. And the last day, October 13th, that's Friday the 13th, is Blue and White Day. So go for it, you know, school spirit, yeah. All right, and those were all the Spirit Week days. Good morning, Big Blue Darters. Today is Tuesday, October 24th. I'm Justin Amatucci. And I'm Allie Haig, and this is the DNN. 
Sorry about the broadcasting problem with Monday's DNN. We got the problem fixed, or else you wouldn't be seeing this. Senior ads are now on sale. Orders must be placed by October 31st. See Ms. Springer in room 536 or the Darter webpage for more details. A Popker Boys Soccer, a.k.a. the Ball Kickers, tryouts began yesterday, October 23rd from 530 to 730. Love the support out there, guys. At the Wells Street Fields across from the 9th grade center. All players must have a completed physical package approved by the athletic training staff and a 2.0 overall GPA to participate. Remember, this week is Red Ribbon Week. Wednesday is Red Day. Wear red and support the fight against drugs. This is a reminder for all boys interested in playing basketball. Our open gym and conditioning is after school. Remember, order to participate. in order to participate, you must be cleared by our athletic trainers by turning in a completed physical packet, and you must be academically eligible with a cum cumulative GPA of 2.0. The Media Center will be closed on Tuesdays and Thursdays for tutoring. If you are not signed up for tutoring, you are not allowed to stay on those days. Remember that no food is allowed in the Media Center at any time. Students caught with food will be banished from the Media Center for the remainder of the day. Find another place to eat, please. Underclass picture retakes will be next Monday, October 30th. Order forms were sent home with students or you can download order forms on the front page of the school's website, darter.ocps.net. There will be a girls basketball meeting Thursday, October 27th in the gym right after school. Girls basketball tryouts are Monday, October 30th and Tuesday, October 31st from five to eight. You must have a physical that is cleared from Mogul, Kaiser, or Nugent, Win. If you have any questions, see Coach Hardy or Miss Richard in room 420 or Miss Wilson in room 430. The AHS PTSA is hosting a spirit night at Chick-fil-A on Wednesday between 5 and 8. The second period class with the most attending will get a coupon for a free breakfast item. Congratulations to the robotics team 550C who won the excellence award as the best overall robot of the event on Saturday. That was Chris Pappas, Aaron Hale, Dylan Dana, and Max Anderson. We love you guys. Congratulations, Kendall Lindsay, for winning first place in student congressional debate at Cypress Creek High School, and the public forum team of Xavier Anderson and Cody Jackson for going undefeated and winning fifth place. Congratulations. And don't forget the big game against Walmart High on Friday <laughs> night. We need the, to fill the stands and show Walmart High that Apopka don't buy anything they aren't selling. We don't. And now to a word from Mr. Arnold about grit in the Code of Conduct video. Love that guy. Good morning, Blue Darters. Good to see everybody today. I hope you had a great weekend. So we are here with our weekly message of grit. What is grit? Grit means that it takes hard work to achieve. Somebody is not born with a ton of talent to make them successful for their future. They're not born smart, but it takes hard work. And you're going to get knocked down, but get back up and keep trying hard. Um, my story of grit here is um, Albert Einstein, who has been considered as a genius by the masses. Um, he was a theoretical physicist, philosopher, author, and is perhaps the most influential scientist to ever live. I want to give you a few quotes by Albert Einstein. I have no special talent. I am only passionately curious. Here's another one. It's not that I am so smart. It's just that I stay with problems longer. I think and think for months and years, 99 times the conclusion is false. The hundredth time, I am right. A person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. Now, interesting fact about Albert Einstein, he had some special needs, and um, in his formative years, a teacher actually told him he would never amount to anything. And obviously, Albert Einstein has persevered and showed a great deal of grit throughout his life and is now considered one of the most intelligent, most intelligent scientists of all time. So 
We have uh, one of our students here, JC. How's it going? Good, good. How are you? Good. Thanks for coming on the air with me today. So congratulations. Um, why do I have you here today? What is your accomplishment? Um, I got a perfect score on the math SAT, 1520 overall. Whoa, so. give it up. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. All right, way to go, JC. What did you do to prepare for the SAT? Uh, to prepare for the SAT, you take practice SATs, and then you, uh, when you get questions wrong, because you definitely do get questions wrong at first, you look at the mistakes, you look at what you did wrong, and then you spend a lot of time with them, with the mistakes, kind of like Albert Einstein said in that quote. You, like, you don't just like, look, through, look at the mistake and then rush past it. You look at it, you spend a little bit of time with it, so you don't make that mistake again, so you really learn from it. So that's how, what I did uh, for the reading mainly, for the reading, but I didn't get a perfect score on the reading. So. All right, well, thanks for giving us a reading example. Have you always been smart, or did you have to work hard to achieve that goal? Um, yeah, you had to work hard. It's not just natural talent. Um, yeah, I just. All right, good hard. answer. <laughs> You're doing great. Okay, what extracurricular activities are you involved in? Uh, I'm the president of Spanish Honor Society. I played basketball, I, um, I'm in National Honor Society and Science National Honor Society, and yeah, I think that's it. That's okay. Does that involvement in those sports and clubs, does that involvement serve as a motivator to, to help you do better academically? Mm, no, not at all. Actually, the only thing that motivates me is just, I'm just self-motivated, just like uh, ambitious to go do things, nothing outside of, like that motivates me. I'm just I just go after things, you know. Self-motivated. Now that you have accomplished this on the SAT, what, what, what are your future plans? Well, for the short term, I want to get a perfect score on both of them. So I, I will get a perfect score on both of them. Once, and I'll get a 1600, which you know, right now I have 1520. I want to bring it up. And after that, mm, I'm probably going to go to college, most likely. Um, and I don't really know past that, so I'm undecided. But. All right, way to go. Give it up for JC. Level 1 in fractions are minor acts of misconduct that interfere with the orderly operation of the classroom. Examples below. Cheating, classroom disruption, dress code, false and or misleading information, insubordination, misconduct on the school bus, profane language, cell phone technology violation, unsubstantiated bullying, and or harassment. Available Disciplinary Responses First Offense Level 1 Parental Contact Counseling and Direction Verbal Reprimand Special Work Assignment Detention Return of Property Confiscation of Unauthorized Material, Objects, or Contraband Level 2 Infractions Intermediate Acts of Misconduct that do not seriously endanger the health and safety of others Destruction of property vandalism, under $100. Disrespect, lacks regard to civility, politeness, and or courteous consideration. Fighting, minor physical contact. Forgery, false or misleading written communication intended to deceive. Insubordination, open defiance. Refusal to comply with school rules or directions. Gambling, misconduct on the bus. Intimidation. Threats, verbal or physical threat to do harm or violence. Bullying, being cruel to other students includes pictures, rumors, repeated teasing. Harassment, resulting in emotional stress, includes pictures, rumors, repeated teasing, name calling with profanity exclusion. Available disciplinary responses. Parental contact, behavior plan, contract, pass, special work assignment, Detention, confiscation of unauthorized materials, contraband, return of property, suspension from bus, alternative classroom. Level 3 infractions. Major act of misconduct, school disruption, threats to health, safety, and property. Physical attack, intentional striking, breaking and entering, willful or attempted forcible entry of any OCPS property. Destruction of property, vandalism. $100 to $999. Extortion. Threat of person of injury to obtain money, information, or services. Fighting. 
physical contact between two or more students, which is harmful and disruptive. Gross insubordination. Willful refusal to comply with authority. Open resistance. Possession of contraband. Possession of items not permitted on campus. OCPS is not responsible for those items. Smoking. Other tobacco. Stealing. $50 to $299. Trespassing. Unauthorized entry to OCPS property remaining after administrator designated direction to leave. Harassment. Any threatening or insulting gesture using data, software, written or verbal that causes emotional distress. Intimidation threats. Threat to cause bodily harm. Bullying. Please see accompanying video. Available disciplinary responses. Parental contact. Behavior plan. Contract. Assignment to special program. Return of property. Pass. Suspension from bus. Suspension from school. One to ten days. Temporary permanent removal from extracurricular activities. Confiscation of unauthorized materials, objects, contraband. Level four infractions. Alcohol. Arson. Threats to employees. Battery of employees. Bomb threats, explosion, drug possession, use, false fire alarm, firearms, inciting, leading, or participating in any act that substantially disrupts the school. Level 4 continued. Larceny, theft, $300 and above. Other weapons, repeated misconduct, more serious nature, robbery, extortion, sexual battery, sexual harassment, sexual offenses, Vandalism, $100 and over, motor vehicle theft. Level 4 continued. Drugs, distribution, selling, buying, bullying, harassment, hazing, physical attack, sexual assault. Available discipline response, parental contact, mandatory 10-day suspension with consideration of a recommendation for expulsion removal. Assignment to alternative program, school. Referral to appropriate agency, mandatory for arson. Possible referral to substance abuse program for drug and or alcohol violations. Expulsions from the school district, temporary or permanent removal from extracurricular programs or activities. Let's talk about cell phones and other electronic devices and the Student Code of Conduct. Unless you have a class assignment to take photos or videos, don't do it. Taking pictures without permission is mentioned in the Code of Conduct, and posting photos or video on social media is definitely not okay. Taking a picture could lead to a 10-day suspension from school. Posting the picture on social media could lead to expulsion. Harassment and cyberbullying have no boundaries. It doesn't matter that you're using a computer at home. If you're affecting another student or school staff member, you will be suspended or expelled. So do the right thing. Good morning, Apopka. Today is October 26th. I'm Kadesha. And I'm Val, and this is the DNN. Apopka boys soccer trials are until today after school from 5.30 to 7.30 at the Wells Street Field across the street from the Ninth Grade Center. All players must have a completed physical package approved by the athletic training staff and a 2.0 overall GPA to participate. There will be a Spanish Honor Society meeting two day after school in room 657. There will be a French Honor Society meeting right after school today in room 642. 
Seniors, come get your free breakfast October 27th at 6.30 a.m. in the football concession stands. Don't forget your ID. Woo! Food! The Media Center will be closed on Tuesdays and Thursdays for tutoring. If you are not signed up for tutoring, you are not welcome on those days. Remember that no food is allowed in the Media Center at any time. I'm Coach Coggle, and I've been teaching for 29 years and six years at Apopka High School. I teach American government and economics. The thing that I like most about teaching is working with all the young people. The thing that I like least about teaching is all the paperwork. My most memorable moment teaching and coaching at Apopka High School has been coaching my sons on the football team. Ms. Palmer. Yep. I teach 2D art and creative book. Okay, what I like most about teaching is getting to work with students and watching them learn and grow. Um, what I like least about teaching is grading. <laughs> My favorite quote is, the earth without art is just eh. Underclass picture retakes will be next Monday, October 30th. Order forms were sent at home with students, or you can download order forms on the front page of the school's website, daughter.ocbs.net. Girls basketball trials are on Monday, October 30th, and Tuesday, the October 31st from 5 to 8. You must have a physical that is cleared from the from Mr. Mogul, Mogul, Kaiser, or Nugen. If you have any questions, see Coach Hardy or Miss Richards in 420 or Miss Wilson in 430. Students, staff, parents, community, recognizing others for accomplishments. Miss Anderson applied for a grant from Duke Energy and she has received that grant. So let's give her a hand. I'm going to introduce Mr. Barthel. He'll have a couple comments and then we'll recognize Miss Anderson. Hello, Miss Anderson. My name is Tom Barthel. I'm with the Foundation for Orange County Public Schools. The Foundation of Orange County Public Schools serves as a district's philanthropic arm, sharing the district's goals of accelerating student success. The foundation responsibly raises, manages, and donates uh, donor gifts to our teachers. Today we are here to award a teacher grant. Our community judges just finished reviewing the grant applications, and the foundation is awarding more than $200,000 this year to learning in our classroom. Throughout the month of October, the foundation directors are visiting schools to uh, distribute these grants. Uh, we are very proud <coughs> for you to be one of our winners in the STEM, Science, Technology, category. On behalf of uh, <coughs> Duke Energy as our sponsor, uh, you will be awarded a $3,000 grant for calculus in the real world. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. McWithy, as you know, works very hard with the robotics and engineering program. He submitted an application for a grant to Duke Energy, and he has won that grant. So let's give him a hand. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to introduce Mr. Barthel. Mr. Barthel is with the Foundation for Orange County Public Schools to do a presentation. All right, thank you again. So, uh, yes, my name is Tom Barthel. And Hi, Tom. I'm with, Hi, and I'm with the Foundation for Orange County Public Schools. I'm also a board member. Uh, the Foundation for Orange County Public Schools serves as the district's philanthropic arm, sharing the district's goal of accelerating student success. The foundation responsibly raises, manages, and donates donor gifts. Today, we are very pleased to make an award to Mr. McWithy on behalf of Duke Energy. Um, the foundation is awarding $5,000 for Thank robots you. coming alive or making yes. robots alive. That is correct. Um, and we're very pleased with the work that you're doing in the classroom and congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 We get a big check. All right, let's yeah. get a big check. We get a big check. check. Mr. Mack, does that mean you can get more aluminum? Aluminum. We actually have two award winners here at Apopka High School, so the, the total award is eight thousand dollars, okay. five thousand for wow. making robots alive. Thank you. All right.
Congratulations. Thank you. Proud of you. Oh, we got swag. All right, thank you. All right. Do I get to keep the check? The principal gets to keep the check. Okay. All right. Good job. He gets the real check too. He gets the real. I'll take good care of the money. Good morning, Apopka. Today is Friday, October 27th. I'm Kenzie. And I'm Gracie, and this is the DNN. If you need volunteer hours, the Spirit of Florida Gospel is Saturday from 11 a.m. until 5 at the Apopka Amphitheater. Contact www.spiritoffloridagospelfest.com for information and registration. And congratulations to Mason Combs for winning the 100 backstroke in the district championship. Let's go take a look. I think it's Combs. Sorry if I but said yes. your name wrong, Mason. Okay. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Great turn. Wow, great turn. Oh, yeah. Wow, what a turn. It's not even close. Hoka Ha auditions will be Monday, October 30th in the drama room. If you're a funny, quick-witted person with a lot of personality, then come out and audition. Do you love pancakes? Friday, October 27th, right before the football game, all you can eat pancakes for $7. This all happens in the cafeteria Lunch. at 4.30. Don't miss it. Then. Drumline battle against Wakaiva is at 5.15 p.m. Attention all Mu Alpha Theta members. The November meeting will be on Friday, November 3rd at 2.15 in room 434. Please see Miss Anderson if you have any questions. Aw, oh, Miss Anderson. Underclass pictures retakes will be next Monday, October 30th. Order forms were sent home with students, or you can download the order form on the front page of the school's website, darter.ocps.net. Girls basketball tryouts are Monday, October 30th, and Tuesday, October 31st, from 5 to 8. If you, you must have a physical and is cleared from Mr. Mogul or Keister or Miss Nugent. If you have any questions, see Coach Hardy or Miss Richards in room 420 or Miss Wilson in room 413. And now let's take a look at some of the great Blue Darter teachers that we have here at Apopka. Ooh. Hi. My name is Miss Unwin. Hands up. I've taught Algebra 2 for three years at Apopka High School. What was my reason for becoming a teacher? Oh yeah, I like teenagers. My most memorable moment as a teacher? When a student stopped me in the hallway and told me that I was the reason he 
passed high school. Math saved his GPA. What's my most favorite thing about teaching? When I see the light bulb that goes on, when all of a sudden math makes sense to a student. And my least favorite thing would be the paperwork. A quote that inspires me, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration by Albert Einstein. Hi, I'm Mr. Green. All right, I teach U.S. history. This is my first year here at Apopka. I became a teacher because I really enjoy teaching young people. The least moment here at Apopka is when a couple of folks got into a fight just outside the door. I had to pull these young ladies off of one another. It's pretty uh, crazy. Yeah, the schedule, obviously. Really, I don't really love putting in grades. It's kind of a pain in the butt. All right, my favorite quote is from my grandfather. He used to say, right is right, wrong is wrong, and no one has the right to do wrong. My name is Rick Darlington. I'm the head football coach at Pop High School. I teach AP weightlifting. This is my 28th year of teaching and coaching, and uh, my 16th in a pop. I became a teacher because I wanted to coach football, and uh, ended up teaching English. Enjoyed that a lot. Ended up teaching math. Teaching dropout prevention, and then somehow stumbled my way into the weight room about 11 years ago, and that's now what I teach AP weightlifting. Most memorable moment as a teacher, obviously, winning the state championships here has been really special with the young men we have, and the coaches, the administration, the community supporting us. That's been really neat to be able to do that here in Apopka. Uh, I like the daily interaction with the, with the young men. Get to coach and teach. That's always kind of nice to deal with young people. Kind of keeps you young. And you enjoy seeing a young man improve over the four years we have him a lot. Grow up as a, a player and more importantly as a, as a young man and a student. The, the thing that I like least about teaching, I think everybody knows, paperwork and bureaucracy, red tape. You know, decisions made above us uh, really are hard. Uh, oh, you know, I put a couple of people with boots on the ground. You know, when I first started teaching, they just gave me a list of kids who hadn't passed the HSCT and said, get these kids to pass, and that's what I did. So I kind of like being autonomous and being able to work things out my own way. So when we don't get to do that as teachers, that's probably the most frustrating part. I don't know if it's a quote or saying, but I think maybe my philosophy of coaching has been that you know, if you treat people the way that you want them to be, not how they are, they'll live up to that. So if you set the bar high and the young man has a desire to be that person, then they'll reach that if you believe in them and you push them towards that, if they push themselves towards that. And that's it. Get to the game. It's huge. <laughs> Dress up and pink out to show your support for breast cancer awareness um, as the last game for October. Goodbye, Apaka. See you tonight at the game. Pink out, everybody. Be there. Beat Wakaiva. Hashtag Beat Wakaiva. Bye.